there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to Reading Aristotle's Politics. Oh, we're, we're continuing, um, well, today we're doing Chapter 5 of Book 4, which deals with oligarchy. Last session, we dealt with that long chapter, or long, you know, as we were over an hour, uh, of Chapter 4, which dealt with, first, a kind of looking at the parts of the regime again, looking at what is the general account of what's common to all regimes, uh, and then he deals with democracy, the varieties of democracy. We will come up with five, five different types of democracy, five variations, sub varieties of democracy. With the last, the, the, the last one being the rule of the people, regard, uh, uh, you know, regardless of descent, of all the people, including slaves, and you know, uh, 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 their rule by their themselves not ruled by not they're not restrained by law they're going to be just doing what they are and it's, it's with that regime that there's no law it's more like uh, the rise of the phenomena of the rise of the demagogues or the popular leaders uh which flatter them and acts like kind of an edger on to them uh egger on to the, 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 the and it becomes more tyrannical right this is the last case so therefore there's the five-fold you know variety of the first account of democracy now we have Oligarchy. Chapter 5 addresses the oligarchic. Now he goes, of the kinds of oligarchy, one is where the offices are filled on a basis of assessment of the size of such a size as the poor, those without means, completely without means, a priori, uh, do not share, though they are a majority, while it is open to anyone possessing the amount to take part in the regime. So there is an assessment. It's not. It's 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 enough that it prevents the very poor. The poor, those with completely without means from possessing. So it kind of echoes the the second democracy in that sense. There's an overlapping of the second democracy of the first count before, um, and this oligarchy. They are very similar in that sense. Um, okay. So that's the first oligarchy. Well, the first oligarchy is similar to at least the account in book four, chapter four, book four, chapter four of the second democracy about low assessment. They say low assessments. Here it says oh, the assessments are low that only the poor can't do it. So again, I think that's low enough too. That the idea that it only that excludes the poor, even if they're in the majority, that they're the majority, right? And, um, um, uh, and while any it is open to anyone possessing the amount to take in the, the regime, so therefore anyone who has the amount they can partake in the regime. Those who don't, and you, this is the poor, and they're the majority, but they can't take part in the regime. Uh, by, the, by taking part means holding offices, holding the holding the offices, and being part of the politumo. Right. Um, Another is the so the next one. Another is where the offices are filled on the basis of large assessments, and they themselves elect uh, uh, in filling vacancies. Uh, if they do, uh, do if they do this at uh, if they do this out of all of these, it is held to be more aristocratic. But if they do it out of special ones, oligarchic. So look at 30. This sentence is, is differently, has been differently understood. The word otoi, harenoi, they, uh, 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 they themselves elect, appears to refer to the process of co-opting by the officials themselves, choose their successors. In contrast to the first variety, where election is by office by the entire citizen body. Uh, but they have some, uh, uh, but they have sometimes been taken to refer to the entire citizen body, and the process interpreted in light of ch chap uh, six book uh, uh, six chapter nine, uh, the later things uh, as involving the admissions of non-citizens the citizenship. Right. So therefore, this is a this is a very difficult. This this has been interpreted in many different ways. Um, but here. Is that we have this idea that the, the second one is that it's this large uh, assessment. Uh, the first one is where there's going to be an assessment and that all who make it can do it. But here, the assessments are large and only those who make it uh, are, 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 in other words, 
the assessment, and they feel they, they either elect, they elect, uh, 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 they themselves elect in filling the vacancies, they choose them. But if they do this out of all people, so not only the rich and the poor, but of all, this is aristocratic, but if they do it only for themselves, this is oligarchy. Okay, this is the difference between oligarchy. In oligarchy, where that the rule is that the office is that these people, uh, the, the ones who decide, the deciding who's going to get elected, the, the, the rich, are going to decide that they only take the wealthy. That's if they only take their own, then that's oligarchy. If they opt out of everyone, they can even take poor people, the whole office or someone who's not one of them, maybe not poor, but it may be someone who doesn't have the same amount of wealth. In other words, they don't, they don't have enough wealth to take part of the highest one. Um, and actually, isn't that the criticism of Sparta, right? Sparta was that the it, it, uh, that people who didn't have the assessment were excluded. Uh, those who couldn't afford to pay the dues for the meals, right, their, their thing, couldn't hold the offices. And therefore, this created a problem because it led to, uh, this is the oligarchic character of the regime, right? In book two, we talked about Sparta. And th I think this is the point about this, this idea that, in other words, instead of an aristocratic looks for the best. So if, the, if, the, if these rulers are looking for people to fill the offices, the specific offices of the city, um, and that the people who the people who decide this is going to be the the, the 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 wealthy who make the assessment. Well, they're going to say, okay, maybe I'm going to look at this good, excellent guy. This guy's brilliant. This guy's smart, but he's not one of us. He's not one in voting. What we're going to pick? That's aristocratic in that sense, right? That's just how how this that doing that is aristocratic. While doing it only to those who are within the wealthy cohort, then that's oligarchy. A third form is an oligarchy where the father, uh, the son succeeds a father. So, okay, the next form is, uh, if the one is, the first is low assessments, high assessments, second one. Third one is uh, uh, the people who hold the office. Again, it's high, and that the, uh, the son succeeds the father, hereditary, right? Hereditary, that's also the word dynastic, which we would be powerful. This is what he says, the will of the powerful. In 31, I think that's a horrible translation of uh, 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 dynastic, um, uh, as we'll see. Um, uh, uh, in other words, this is that the son succeeds the father, right? Right. Um, all of these law, it, law is present. Law is, is not explicitly mentioned that law is present, but it, it will be by what it says here next. Another form of oligarchy, uh, the fourth, sorry, the fourth, uh, uh, is when what it was spoken of just occurs, that father, a son succeeds father, right? And a uh, uh, spoken that occurs. And not law, but officials rule. So if not, the law does not rule and make decrees of what should, uh, the rules, the law should rule, general rules, but rather officials rule. So it's dynastic, right, right. This is the counterpart among oligarchies, the tyranny, uh, 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 another, among, uh, 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 among monarchy. In other words, a monarchy, this tyranny and kingship, a right? good rule versus bad rule. This is the counterpart among oligarchies, the tyranny. And to the sort of democracy we spoke of last among democracies, right. So therefore, this is, therefore, the last democracy and the, this, this fourth oligarchy, the fifth oligarchy, the fifth democracy in the first account, the last one, and the the fourth, the last oligarchy, these are both without law, and that the ruler rules by decree, no, not law, and that they're both like masters, right? This is they, they act like masters and they act despotically. Uh, this is why they become. This is why they, these are similar. These are these are like tyrannical. They're more in common with tyranny than with regime. Okay. They are. Uh, they call such oligarchy the. Uh, he says the rule of the powerful, but this is dynastic. Literally, the word is dynastia. Dynastia. This is dynasty. And dynasty means dynastic. This is dynastic. Uh, the, the, the dynastic is the principle of father son, and only those that, for the, in other words, a very small group. That if you're not of the family, new families can't come in. Only the old families, um, and father succeeds son. So therefore, I mean, son succeeds father. So therefore, there's not new blood coming in. 
they select only of themselves that in this very narrow, very small group of hold the powers, and that therefore they and, and, and no new ones are coming in, right? And the next point is that they themselves no the, 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 there's no longer law of law, law anymore. In many ways, the third and fourth, the, the, the third and fourth oligarchies differ only by the the uh, that the ruler no longer is bound by law. So therefore, that's the case, right? Then the previous oligarchies were all implied to be bound by law. Uh, so that was restrains the, 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 the wealthy. The, the law restrains them. Now here, the law does not restrain them. And that this makes them very similar to the next um, uh, uh, thing. So let's continue. Um, but uh, uh, there are as many kinds of oligarchies in democracy. There are as this many kinds of oligarchies in democracies. But it should not be overlooked that it, it happened in many places that although the regime, insofar it is based on laws, is not a popular one, it is governed in a popular fashion as, as a result of the character and the regimen of the citizens. Um, our regimen is 32. Now we've got to go with this is agage, agage um, uh, that is uh, uh, used in Spartan civic education training for the education. In other words, sorry. In other words, uh, it looks all like uh, many kinds of oligarchy. Uh, in other words, there are many of these kinds of uh, oligarchies, democracy, right? Before. But it should not be overlooked that it happens in many places. That although the regime is, insofar it is based on laws, is not a popular one. It is governed in a popular fashion because of the character and the education of the citizens. So the the character of the regiment or, or the education system. The education system makes it democratic, even though it isn't really a democracy. So this is where the second, the first oligarchy, and maybe even the second oligarchy, if they're governed in this fashion by law, and the law makes them, even though they're not, they can still kind of have a, um, a popular fashion by their, edu their education. The way the education is doing it, 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 it promotes kind of, it gives the look or the appearance of um, it's governed, it is governed in a popular fashion. It may not be governed by the people, but it governs properly because of the education that the, the education and habits that the, uh, 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 the ruling sort has, right? And the law perpetuates this, right? This is, and similarly, it happened elsewhere that the regime, insofar it is based on laws, tend towards the popular, but through its citizen regimen and habits tends toward the oligarchic one. So therefore you may have a regime that the laws themselves are this, but the education that is presented in the regimen, the habits, in other words, the citizen regimens and the habits, the education of the citizens, this is an education. The regimen, I think that's the word education should be here. The citizen's education. Uh, the, the, the regimen has meant is that it's that, again, I think we have to look at this word here, uh, 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 agare, uh, uh, this is the, the, like the pedagogy of, 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 of this. Now this is like, we skipped this. Um, that this is going to be what? This is going to be oligarchically run. That the habits, if the, if the education of the citizens and their habits tend to be uh, 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 in a way that leads them to be oligarchic. So therefore, you, it, it depends. In other words, he's saying that the character of the education, the regimen of the of citizens, and their habits will shape the regime. Habits, education, the regimen of the uh, citizens, and the uh, 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 the tech, you know the, the the things that citizens must do, their their structures and their habits. That these will shape what the character of the regime, whether it be all, towards oligarchic to popular rule or to the rule of uh, 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 the few, uh, the, the rich, right? Or oligarchy, right? The few or that, right? This happens particularly after revolution in regimes. So therefore, this regime, in other words, there's a regime change. There's a revolution. There's a, 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 a word here is uh, 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 actually the Greek word here is metabale. Not it's translated as revolution, but it's meant to buy, it means change, a change. In, this ha particularly happens after a change in regimes. Uh, uh, from the transition is uh, for the transition is not immediate. In other words, it's the famous J curve phenomenon. 
anytime you have a change, the, the people still are habituated doing the old thing. So they keep on doing the old thing. They keep on the old habits, the old ways of doing things. Now, the old habit no longer produces the results because the regime change means the rules have changed. And therefore, they don't produce the same results as that they do. And therefore, people start saying, well, but uh, what is the new rules? And they start accommodating themselves to the new rules and the new the ways that the regime is operating to, to succeed and to participate, uh, to, to succeed in the regime. Um, and therefore, what happens is that, that they change their habits, but the habits will linger on. So that in, for the transition is not a me. They are content at first to aggrandize themselves at the expense of others only in small ways. So that the laws that existed re, uh, remain. Although the, uh, those who have made the change, the revolution, the Bodevale, in the regime are dominant. In other words, a regime change happens is they don't change the laws. They don't change the habits. They just change who's in charge. And if that happens, then this phenomenon will happen that happens here. That you may have what the rulers may be changed, but the habits are still, and they inclined. Therefore, if they haven't, in other words, you had, you had a democracy that turned into oligarchy. Well, uh, that went from the rule of the people to the rule of the few. But the, the few, they, they, they merely aggrandize themselves. They put themselves in a position of controlling things. But their habits and such are still democratic. They're, 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 and they, therefore, that this is why it, the, it, 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 even though that they are, uh, um, uh, uh, all are, they are few in their oligarchic in their character, in their who they are, they end up producing a popular rule because the laws are still kind of this is, uh, uh, the, 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 the specific, okay, said that, the, he says the laws are not popular, but the characters, well, but here that the, the, the law is even the same, okay, and that, therefore they don't really, they just changed who's controlling, and therefore, uh, 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 the, therefore this has. Uh, the, 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 in other words, the nature of the customs, the habits, and the laws will keep on moving it in, in, in a way that looks democratic, even though the control is oligarchic. But if they don't change it, if they, if they, and they usually do this at first, not to grant, you know, you know, they, they often do the change. They don't want the backlash. So this is kind of a like, okay, let's, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna power, but let's, let's toss them the bone. Let's not do too much change, right? Um, 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 to prevent a counter revolution, right? The counter change. So, in other words, that so as laws that existed before remain, although those who have made the revolution, the change in regime are now dominant. Okay, those are dominant. They're going to be there. But he ends on this theme of change. He jumps ahead to this question of regime change, of explaining why, and he says that this is it's in the transition moment of regimes that change that these kind of weird things start to emerge. That you have an oligarchy, but it's run more democratically. And you have a democracy, uh, 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 in other words, you have a democracy that's run more oligarchically. And you have a, 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 an oligarchy that's kind of run still popularistically, whereas it behaves more populistically. And these are the kind of, uh, it happens, it changes. Now the question is, will the regime that tighten up and want to preserve itself as a, a that, or does this kind of maintain itself in a certain way? Um, and particularly when democracy, this weird point where the second democracy in the first account and the first oligarchy are so similar, okay? So therefore, there is this thing of the, where it becomes kind of like they're almost, they're distinguished because the principle is that there's wealth and, you know, there's, it's, it's, it's an accidental principle of wealth in the other one. That there is, uh, uh, and there, therefore, this is that weird intersection of those two regimes at that point. So let's stop here. This is where chapter five ends. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below and I will respond to them Okay, when I see them. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions and requests, you know, whatever. Um, if you liked it, like it, uh, uh, thumb up it and it, uh, share it with a friend, uh, uh, put it in your social media and things like that. If you didn't like it, okay, you can say no, or, you know, but say why in the comments, say what, what's the problem. Um, um, subscribe if you have not subscribed. If you're watching this and you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Like the gold channel, encourage people you know, like to get others that you might think like for material to come and watch us and maybe subscribe also. I'd like to get over, I'd like to build some more people watching this. I'm not being you know, YouTube is not helping me do it, I'm not so interesting. Um, and, and I would like to get monetized because that would help pay for the costs of 
but I'm not important enough to monetize, right? Um, therefore, um, uh, this leads us to our next point. Okay, you can follow me on social media that, and this leads us to our next point. YouTube is now charging the way for our large videos. I'm, I'm big enough now that I have, I've used up all my space, and therefore I have to pay to keep my spaces, or I have to eliminate videos. Oh, I don't want to eliminate videos. I want to keep them on there. But we're going to die. I'm going to. It's not going to. You know, exactly. This is the. This is what's wrong with YouTube now. Um, it's kind of like get to the point where it wants to be. It's a, it has to start paying for itself, and therefore the video things and its house and the way it waged war with. The, uh, 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 well, whatever. This is another. This, this is a discussion not for this. So if you want to help, you can do so through the information through subscribe star. Or Patreon, I'm going to continue. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm doing it, but yeah. If you want to help me do it, then please leave him in. But you don't do anything for us. Well, yes, I'm not. I don't have any goals. I don't know how to do this. Uh, um, uh, if you build it, I will come. Okay. If there's a community and if, if all of a sudden I have a bunch of people who want attention, I will give you attention. But I don't have that. So therefore, you know, uh, 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 please, it would be one way to help. It would help. It would be great if you want to throw me some money. But that's that's great too because I would it would make it would make uh, I would put that money right immediately back in you know, into YouTube one and it says hey, uh, hey my you know my Google account I just buy a whole bunch of my hours. But then I would also buy some books that I can read and do things. Um, another way you can help me is buy my book. You can buy my other books too. The Aristotle's Best Regime, uh, LSU uh, 2003, and my Washington University Press book. You can buy in, you know, all of me. Uh, uh, Aristotle's, you know, it's called um, um, the Regime, what is it? It's, it's called the Centrality of Regime in Political Science, right? It's my, it's my program, Rumida, my, you know, it's the groundwork for the uh, my, my, my regime science, right? Um, this is uh, a different book. This is a textbook. I was going to do this a publisher, a textbook. They just want too much money. They wanted to pay so I'd choose $150. And I said, mm, I want myself a Lulu. Now, this is like under 30, but it's still better than 150, 200. It's, it's rather pages. It's, it's like how many? It's over two, nearly 280, 290 pages, 280 something, 80 something. Um, it has. Uh, Set chap, book by book, chapter by chapter. Um, it's not a summary. It's not interpretation. It's not a common. It, it's not a commentary interpretation. It's like a cliff notes. And what it does is it, it gives kind of outlines chapters. Pardon, outlines chapters and things like this that you can guide through it. Pardon God, yeah. Um, it goes through and it allows you to kind of like study the book as you read the politics. It's not to be read in substitute of the politics, but it's a good guide to go with it. Now, if you can buy that, you buy it through Lulu, I get the money, the, the, the extra profit. Now, if you buy it through Amazon, I still get little money. I'll get something like a couple dollars um, uh, uh, about that. But if you get through Amazon, I'll get a bigger chunk. If you, don't buy, you, know, if you buy it through Lulu, I get the bigger chunk. But I understand people don't want, won't buy Lulu because, well, Lulu makes us pay shipping. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, I understand. So, Nia, I, so if you want to help, that's where you can help by buy the book. Um, that's it. Um, we're done for the, this thing. We took at chapter six, our next session. Um, so hope you all have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.